So uh, we finished our preparations uh, for invading Leyte and gave it a, quite a large number of ships and went over to Humboldt Bay at New Guinea and picked up Mac, uh, MacArthur's uh, group in our convoy. And uh, by the time we got to the Philippines, I could stand on the deck of our LST and look as far as I could see south, north, and east, and there were nothing but ships. Everything you could think of, just as far as the eye could see, and the only reason you didn't see any to the west because that's where the where Leyte was and we were getting ready to land there. While I was standing on the deck looking at this, I heard a lot of firing from some of the ships that were armed to the north. I looked over there and there was this lone Betty Mama coming across, right straight across the whole armada of ships. Everybody shooting. As soon as he would, that plane would get over here with all these ships were shooting at it and then get a little further and all these were shooting and so it was just a, a series of firing all along the whole front of our armada firing at this one lonely plane and I watched it go from north over me to the south and it never got hit it just kept going and I mean it must have they must have fired a hundred tons of ammunition at that one plane and never hit it. So, uh, still standing at, uh, on top of my LST, I looked over there and they started firing at uh, the beach where we were going to land on Leyte. And uh, I got to tell you, that was an impressive sight. They had cruisers, battleships, destroyers, just going up and down in front of us, firing at the beachhead, destroying hundreds and hundreds of trees, coconuts, palms. Creating great big craters in the beach area. And then they brought uh, uh, boats that were armed with rocket launchers and those rocket launchers, when they would hit the beach, created such a concussion that I could actually feel the clothes on my body moving like that from the concussion from those rockets. 